Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial episode. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to generate QR codes in Laravel. So let us go ahead and uh, see how we can be able to install. I'm using Laravel 10, just a pretty new install. I've been able to modify welcome.blade.php. I've just deleted everything and just created some HTML scaffolding and then included a bootstrap link not for any specific purpose because even if you work without it you just be fine so let us go ahead and see how we can be able to install a package that we call simple qr code and um, i'm going to just uh, search uh, we attach laravel so simple qr code laravel and we will get the github uh, repository for it I'm going to open it and so this is um, the package that we require to use and of course I want us to go to documentation and the official documentation is not in this github repo so what I'm going to do I'm going to click here where we have the official doc documentation website and it will open for us a website where we can be able to get the documentation for the specific package that we want to use. And just to mention, QR codes can be able to be used in very many scenarios. For example, uh, putting a link for the menu of a hotel, instead of printing the manual menus, you can be able to just have a QR code where somebody comes and scans on their phone and they can be able to get the details of what you offer in your hotel. You can use it to put the geographical location details. You can use it to put Wi-Fi credentials. And when somebody scans, they can be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. So many use cases, ticketing and so on and so forth. So depending on your use case, then you'll be able to apply it in a, a different way. So let us go ahead and install. And we have the the line the, for, for configuration installation using composer and this is what i want us to copy and what we are installing is actually version 4 so i just like to paste it on our terminal and hit enter the package is fully installed so i want us to go ahead and use it so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just use it, use it in a very simple way inside our web.php. And I'm just going to use the same uh, route that goes to the forward slash, in this case, the first page in our application. So this is the place where I'm going to create our QR code. But before we do that, we need to import the facade here. So let me just... Uh, find it in our yes we need to copy this facade and then i'm going to paste it here so use simple software io qr code facades qr code and then now once we have it like that we can be able to use it so i want to just pass a string whatever string that we have and remember, you can be able to pass a web, a web page, a web, the link to a web page and so on and so forth. But this one, I'm just passing a string, hey, there. And then now, I want us to generate our QR code and then pass the string to it. So QR code, you'll be given by, uh, so I'm going to instantiate to call this QR code a facade. And then we can be able to just uh, say generate like that and we can pass in our string after that we can return view welcome and i can just pass in with with uh, qr code qr code like that basically once we have it like that we can be able to um, use it on our welcome.blade and what i want us to do is to just have a container here, maybe. You can have div with a class of a container. It's not really necessary. You can just input your QR code and display it. That is, if you have included Bootstrap, you can do it like this. But if not, 
is no really big issue because we can just be able to display our QR code in the following fashion just like that and we call it QR code like that I'm going to save and then I'm going to visit localhost 8000 in our application and now you can see we are displaying our QR code and if maybe I want to just move it down a little bit such that it's displayed in entirety, I can be able to have maybe not a good solution, but not a bad one at all. So we have it like that now. Our QR code is purely visible. So if you scan this with your phone, you will be able to get the message or the string that I was able to attach in this QR code. You can be able to chain other things. For example, um, if we are to look at it, you can be able to embed it as a PNG. Also, you can be able to generate and save it somewhere and then show to the user at a specific point where you want to do it and uh, so on and so forth. But we can also be able to uh, for pass in the format. So if we want to pass in the format when we are generating it, then we can be able to, before we have generate, we can be able to say format, format like that, and then be able to pass in our format here. And in this case, we have different formats. We can have PNG, uh, EPS, and SVG, and so on and so forth. We can also be able to pass in the size. So in this case, I can be able to just say size, size um, 100, 100. And this one will not change so much. So let us just refresh and see. When I refresh, can see the size is still the same so meaning that is the default size but if we change this to something like 500 and we save if we are to refresh again you can see now it becomes a little bit uh, larger QR code so depending on the kind of sizing you want you can be able to do that I also want to mention that now depending on your use case you can be able to also have color so if you pass in the color for example what we are having here you can be able to change the color to a different color. So maybe let me just copy this and uh, chain it here like that and have the color. And then if we are to refresh, let us see if the color changes. Now you can see our QR code is red in color. Basically, that is what you can be able to do. And since whatever it is that I'm doing is sort of like an introduction to what we have here, you can be able to adopt the tutorial to your specific use case. It is still possible to pass in the values. For example, you want to pass in the Wi-Fi credentials. You can do that. You can even have an image centered. For example, these companies like uh, Facebook, you find when they have the QR code, they have the logo in, inside. So you can be able to pass in the logo inside so in this case you'll just say merge and then put some image there and then that should be it it should be able to display in your qr code and uh, so on and so forth you can pass an email you can also pass geo information that is longitude and latitude depending with what you are doing you can pass an sms you can also pass Wi-Fi credentials and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching this video up until this point. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can also comment if you have something you would like to share with us. And if you like the video, you can also share it. Thank you very much.